Drones have been given the green light to take over crop dusting duties from airplanes, and it could be a game changer for farmers and pilots in California. Good evening, I'm Sam Shane. The drones will carry fertilizer and pesticides. So how could drones change the future of farming in this region? CBS 13's Derek Shore is getting answers from Lodi. It looks like a toy, but this is a high-tech tool. And after testing it right here in our wine regions, this state-of-the-art farm drone has been given the green light by the FAA, the first of its kind approved in the U.S. We think it opens up uh, some of the first opportunities to really deliver a payload in agriculture. Ken Giles is a professor of agricultural engineering at UC Davis and has spent the past several years studying and refining the RMAX unmanned helicopter, which comes equipped with tanks to fly above crops, including grapes, releasing pesticides and other supplements with little labor cost. We can avoid problems with pests. We can treat a smaller area and we can do it in an economical way. Giles says the RMAX, designed originally for rice farms in Asia, can help supplement other equipment as well, like ground sprayers. But how much faster? It'll take maybe uh, half an hour uh, to do an acre of land with certain spray systems. We found that with our aerial vehicles, we can do up to maybe six or seven acres per hour. It's a really impressive piece of equipment um, and it really paves the way for this use in agriculture. Michael Hoffman is with the Lodi Wine Grape Commission. He says there are still questions about how well the copter will do spraying thick grape canopies, but says the commission supports drone technology. It opens up the door for the use of drones and other unmanned aerial devices for other Applications. The RMAX is not on sale yet, and with a price tag at over 100 grand, large companies will likely buy the drones and then rent them out. A, a technology I think a lot of people didn't anticipate. The RMAX helicopter is manufactured with the help from Yamaha Company, but Professor Giles expects other companies will start introducing similar drones in the United States. 